try not to dwell on things I can't change. At the age of 51, Lisa Stockman Moriello got a shocking diagnosis, ALS, better known as Lou Gehrig's disease. As bad uh, a diagnosis as ALS is, Lisa's uh, prognosis is even worse. She has a particularly fast-moving form driven by a specific genetic mutation. But for Moriello, a veteran of drug industry communications, it initially appeared medicine might have an answer. The biotech company Biogen has a drug in clinical trials specifically targeting that form of the disease. It's called Topherson. Lisa and her doctor requested compassionate use, a way to access experimental drugs outside of clinical trials when patients have few other options. President Trump championed the system, signing in 2018 a law known as Right to Try. Thousands of terminally ill Americans will finally have the help, the hope, and the fighting chance that they will be cured. But for many, that's been false hope. In Lisa's case, Biogen has said no. It's running a placebo-controlled trial to determine if the drug truly works, and wrote in a letter to Lisa that if it offered others the drug outside the trial, it, quote, could not in good faith ask patients to continue to receive placebo without offering them the same opportunity for access to Topherson, which could jeopardize the trial itself. Lisa's family and friends have started a campaign to get Biogen to change its mind. None of it means anything if the CEO of Biogen isn't willing to give my mom Tofferson. It's a situation thousands of dying patients have found themselves in, one that bioethicist Art Kaplan says wasn't solved by that 2018 law. Why can't a woman with a bad disease gain access? And the answer is it's up to the company. Biogen says if the trial is positive later this year, it'll open up access immediately. But for Lisa, that may be too late. Waiting until the fall is just not an option. So she's creating memories now she knows she won't get in the future, like a mother-son dance with each of her three sons. She says she doesn't expect the drug to save her life. She just wants a little more time with them. What a wonderful world. Lisa is now petitioning Biogen to allow her to enroll in an expanded trial of the drug. She and her husband participated in the Pfizer COVID vaccine trial last year, and she received the placebo. So she says she knows full well the risks she may not get the medicine, but that it would give her a better chance than she has now. Frank? Meg Terrell, thank you for that reporting. Such an emotional story. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.